Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's June 16th, 2023. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. Starting off this week on Wall Street, waste, gas, and energy have started to become very attractive to investors. Shares of the biggest players in the U.S. trash business, Waste Management and Republic Services, have traded at record highs since President Biden signed the Climate, Tax, and Healthcare Bill back in August. A recent decline notwithstanding, the stocks are popular picks with Wall Street right now to ride the sustainability boom even higher. Efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and to reuse materials are making it more profitable to mine landfills for energy and sift through refuse for the hot commodities of the green economy, such as detergent bottles and cardboard boxes. Waste Management and Republic are building plants to isolate methane from the fumes emitted by rotting garbage and pipe it into the natural gas grid to be burned in power plants, furnaces, and kitchens. They are also equipping recycling facilities with the latest in automation to better sort and process materials for the consumer goods companies that are under pressure to keep their packaging out of landfills in the ocean. Republic Chief Executive John Vander Ark said, quote, We are blessed to be sitting right in the middle of a mega trend. We used to think about getting 5% top line growth a year. We're now in double digit top line growth mode. End quote. Landfill owners are forecasting hundreds of millions of dollars in additional profit from rising demand for recycled materials and tax incentives for making energy from emissions that would otherwise seep into the atmosphere. Last year's climate bill sweetened the economics of trash gas, a federal proposal to offer additional credits for biogas projects that produce power for electric vehicles could make the incentives even stronger. Waste company executives and analysts say that many are worth building anyway and that the incentives make it economical to install gas works at smaller, less gassy landfills. Now moving to New England, Boston-based Vanguard Renewables has signed a contract with drug giant AstraZeneca to deliver renewable natural gas to all of AstraZeneca's 12 sites within the U.S., Waltham-based Vanguard is developing anaerobic digesters at three farms in Pennsylvania, Texas, and Virginia that will serve the drug company by harnessing the gas released by food waste and cow manure, much like the company's anaerobic digesters in New England. Vanguard said AstraZeneca will become the first major company in the United States to decarbonize its natural gas supply by turning to renewable sources. The gas is mixed with the fossil fuel gas in the existing pipeline system and AstraZeneca gets credit to reflect the purchase. The deal with AstraZeneca will extend to all of the company's U.S. sites by the end of 2026 and will start with purchasing renewable natural gas for a campus in Delaware. Pam Chang, an executive vice president at the British company, said the company recognizes the interconnection between the health of people and the health of the planet and wants to collaborate with companies like Vanguard to reduce AstraZeneca's environmental footprint and eventually reach net zero for global carbon emissions. On the business side of things, Nopetro Energy has announced they are merging with Nova Infrastructure. Together, the two companies have created Nopetro Renewables, a clean energy platform focused on developing renewable energy infrastructure assets. Nopetro Energy CEO Jorge Herrera said, quote, Nopetro Renewables represents a new, bold approach to our legacy mission of creating cleaner, more cost-effective energy solutions. Solutions. The core of our business is finding market-based solutions to environmental challenges and partnering with local governments and industries to make it happen, end quote. Nopetro Renewables' first major initiative will be the construction of a renewable natural gas production plant in Indian River County, Florida, that is part of an increasing trend toward decarbonization. 
the model will work towards improving air quality in the South Florida region and reducing the state's dependence on petroleum-based fuels. More than 3 million gallons of RNG will be produced at the facility each year, and clean fuel will be used to displace diesel in Florida's heavy trucks and buses. Using RNG produced in Indian River instead of diesel will equate to taking more than 4,500 cars off the road and reducing nitrous oxide emissions by 90%. And just a reminder, Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com, that's diamondsci.com, or call them at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Following up on a story we reported on recently involving ReGreen Technologies, Astra Energy California Incorporated has finalized an agreement with Fambilly USA. Fambilly solidifies municipal solid waste and organic waste processing to a non-waste material and refinement to valuable market commodities, such as sustainable aviation fuel. The strategic partnership is intended to combine total waste processing, utilizing Regreen Technologies energy pellets with the Fambilly conversion unit to further refine into finished marketable commodities for global distribution. The goal of the collaboration is to apply the combined technologies to provide zero emission, low sulfur, high BTU value commodities to the world, including, but not limited to, sustainable aviation fuel, marine biofuels, and organic pesticides. President and CEO of Astra California, Douglas Hampton, said, quote, Our mutual objective is to process municipal solid waste and create valuable commodities from it. This will create an ongoing revenue stream from each of our global projects and drive value for our shareholders and investors, end quote. Now at the federal level, the U.S. Department of Energy announced more than $192 million in new funding for recycling batteries from consumer products, launching an advanced battery research and development consortium and the continuation of the lithium-ion battery recycling prize, which began in 2019. The announcement supports the Biden-Harris administration's goal to have electric vehicles make up half of all vehicle sales in America by 2030 and builds on the nearly $3 billion announced to date from President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law for electric vehicles and battery technology. Jennifer Granholm, the U.S. Secretary of Energy, said, quote, The United States is leading the way in developing advanced battery technologies that will power our clean energy future and boost our global competitiveness. Thanks to President Biden's Investing in America agenda, these investments in battery production and recycling will ensure the U.S. has a secure and sustainable domestic supply chain and strengthens our economy. End quote. As of April 2023, more than 3.6 million plug-in electric vehicles have been sold in America. Battery costs have fallen more than 90% since 2008, and energy density and performance have increased rapidly. And lastly, a heads up for citizens of Laurel, Maryland, organics composting will become mandatory in the next couple years. Laurel's mayor and city council have approved an ordinance that will make it mandatory for residents to separate the organic wastes from their trash in the next couple years. The ordinance was approved last month and takes effect July 1st, 2025. The organic waste that will need to be separated will include things like food scraps, food waste, food soil paper, and compostable plastic. Green waste, like leaves, grass clippings, and other landscape debris, will need to be separated as well. To make sure the city is ready, officials say they will post how-to videos, hold meetings, and post composting and recycling tips on the City of Laurel Green Living Resources page. And that has been your Recyclist News Update for June 16th, 2023, presented 
by Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and I will see you back here next week for another episode of Recyclist. Thank you. <laughs>